percolators. Once again, I'm back. <laughs> I'm going to share my butter pecan cake with you guys. So, um, we're going to go and roll on off into it. We're going to stroll on into it and get started. But I'm going to tell you before we start, let's always remember to share, like, comment, ring that notification bell. Don't forget, help me get to that 10,000, 10,000 subscribers. The more you inspire me, the more I'm going to inspire you. So let's do that. Let's take that stroll on that butter pecan cake. First, I'm going to start by setting my these roasted cinnamon roasted butter pecan crushed pecans they already been roasted so they will be divided into three different portions the first portion is going to go into my ninja once again they've been roasted with cinnamon and a tablespoon of butter and they've been baked in the oven for five minutes on the temperature of 350 degrees I will be butterizing these pecans so this cake will hold its own butter by me measuring these pecans into a butter mix. You can also make your pie crust with this butter mix, like a butter pecan pie crust. You can also try that. They will be it will be so good with that. I'm starting with my coconut oil. I have a half cup of coconut oil a cup of white sugar and also a cup of brown sugar I'm going to caramelize this mix about approximately five minutes before I add my other ingredients and I will be scraping the sides of my bowl in the process some of this portions you will not be you will not be seeing some of this portion of me scraping the bowl because I am holding my camera as I go along with this recipe this recipe was inspired by my daughter. I'm adding my heavy whipping cream and I have three fourths cup of heavy whipping cream and I will be adding half of the whipping cream as of now. This will turn this mix into a caramelized state. You would think this recipe required a lot of butter, but it does not because this recipe makes the butter within itself through the pecans. You can use the, the butter from the pecan mix. So it doesn't require as much butter. I have four eggs and I'm gonna join them in one by one. As of now, I will be putting three eggs into the mix. And I'm gonna save this one till later. I'm gonna scrape. 
break the size of my bowl and to ensure incorporation. tablespoon of maple syrup this really sets the cake off believe it or not this is one of the the um, ancient Chinese secrets that will be kept away from some of these mixes that <laughs> that's in the cake so that was an ancient Chinese secret you guys that was one of them And I also have my all-purpose flour, two cups of all-purpose flour. I also added in that flour is two teaspoons of bacon pie. And a fourth of salt. Scraping the size of my bowl. followed by the other half of my flour. Now here is my butter that I made from my pecans. I'm placing it into the mix. This is what really makes this cake a butter pecan cake. You would think it would be butter, but no, it is natural butter from the pecans. And I'm adding my last egg. And I'm going to add my second portion of roasted pecans into my mix as soon as I scrape the bowl down. see those pecans in that cake. We want to see them as well as taste them. And I poured it into my pan, which was sprayed with Baker's Joy. And now the, the cakes are ready. And we're gonna prepare my frosting, my buttercream frosting. Starting with six tablespoons of butter and a tablespoon of brown sugar. I will be mixing this until the mix turns into a creamy beige texture. Followed by a teaspoon of vanilla a teaspoon of maple syrup 
You wouldn't believe how much of a difference this maple syrup is making this recipe. So flavorful. And we're gonna add my eight ounce package of cream cheese. followed by four cups of powder sugar, or should I say confectioner's sugar. It is the same. Now I'm gonna add this confectioner's sugar into this mix, little by little, until I get my mix. And here I am, I have this mix going. And I'm gonna add the third portion of my roasted pecans into this buttercream frosting. Placing my cakes together to be icing or frosted. <laughs> Isn't that just gorgeous, you guys? Look at all those butter pecans in that cake. You can just see them in that cake. This is a very rich icing, very flavorful and rich. I think my daughter is gonna enjoy this cake, you guys, cause she really inspired me to make this cake. She wanted it, so this is really for her. But you know, I got to get my slice too, you know? You know I got to get my slice. And I, you know, I gotta let you guys have a look at this cake. I just can't let, I can't go off here without letting y'all look at this cake. Isn't that just lovely? I hope you all enjoy this. Set in the mood. Set in the mood. And I want to thank you for taking a stroll just to see how everything goes when living with me.